Well, I'm on Hanover Street, which is ordinarily a very busy street as it is tonight. But earlier today, it was closed because Joseph Miller was staying in a room in this hotel right over my shoulder that overlooked Hanover Street. And there were some concerns that this could become a dangerous situation. The SWAT team arrived about 12.45. Portsmouth police had been alerted by Stratum police because Mr. Miller had had a run-in with them. He'd recently been arrested for carrying a concealed weapon. They knew he was wanted for the Army for desertion. So they came here to try to talk to him. He wouldn't come out. But those negotiators, they communicated with him by phone. They were able to convince him he surrendered voluntarily and had not been armed. But going in, they said they had every indication that this could be a very dangerous situation. He had involvement with a police department in the last couple of days where a handgun was found. We know he has access to other weapons. Uh, and given some of his background information that came to light for us, uh, we certainly had our concerns. Why, why we took somewhat extraordinary measures in activating our Seacoast Emergency Response Team, closing Hanover Street, given his view and access to Hanover Street. Miller was taken to Portsmouth Hospital for some injuries he had that happened before police arrived on scene. Then he was taken to the House of Corrections where he'll wait to be picked up by the Army. They aren't going to charge him locally, but he will be charged with desertion. They say he's from San Antonio, Texas, but believe he has ties to New Hampshire. Reporting live in Portsmouth, Jennifer Crompton, WMUR News 9.